Hello Virgo, how are you? Welcome to my channel Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So Virgo, this is your reading for the mid month of the June. Okay. This is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. In this reading, Virgo will see what is it that you need to know when it comes to your love life, what universe wants you to know when it comes to your love life. I'll also provide certain self-care tips, okay? So that is something that you don't want to miss. Make sure you watch the video till the end, Virgo. So what is it that you need to know when it comes to your love life? We have man holding a coin, we have hostilities, and we have anxiety, okay? Interesting. Let me pull out the self-care card. Make a meal and watch a movie. Interesting. I'm going to use this booklet to explain the cards. Man holding a coin and hostilities and anxiety. This is your spread. So what is the message from the universe when it comes to your love life? What is it that you need to know when it comes to your love life? Okay. So first of all, someone is about to enter in your life with a very solid relationship. Okay. And uh, that is something that you don't want to miss. At the same time, you also need to know that there are certain negative energies in and around you. Uh who are probably putting a facade and staying in your energy because they know that if they show their reality obviously you will not allow them to stay uh, with you or stay in and around you okay so they are putting a facade and they're portraying that they are a well-wisher of yours and that's how they are staying in touch with you they are trying they are staying in your energy but these people are waiting for an opportunity to pull you down opportunity to create hurdles and obstacles in your in your life in general Maybe if this is, if someone from the past is returning in your life, Virgo, then probably the third party wants to create some sort of a ruckus over here. I also feel that you don't have to worry about your love life with the anxiety card, okay? Uh, I feel that a lot of, like, the stability that you want, if you are in an, in an already existing relationship, then stability is coming in your relationship. If you're single right now, then I see that someone is about to enter in your life who will bring this much-needed stability. Let's talk about the self-care tips now, okay? The first card is make a meal, okay? Let me read out from this guidebook. Make a meal. I'll hold this card like this. The mantra for this card is, I am nourished by food infused with love. When made with love and intention, food has the power to nourish us beyond a physical level. So whenever you cook a meal, whenever you cook food, make sure that you cook food with a lot of intention, with a lot of positive intention and a lot of love, okay? Because that goes in our body, okay? And that is how we feel loved. Uh, prepare yourself a beautiful meal that's healthy and delicious. Perhaps a favorite from childhood or a dish with the seasonal ingredients brought from a market or shop offering organic and local produce. So prepare something that you really like, a childhood meal, a childhood favorite meal or something that you always wanted, a healthy, a, a healthy meal, however. And uh, maybe you can, you can uh, prepare a dish with a seasonal fruit or something that you always like from uh, from the uh, grocery store or market, supermarket store, right? Remain mindful and present throughout the entire process. Remain mindful and present throughout the entire process, consciously infusing love and gratitude into the food that you make. So while preparing, you make sure that you're infusing gratitude and love, okay? Eat it with the same level of presence and appreciation. So while eating it, make sure that you are eating it with the same, that you are present basically. While you are eating, you are present in the moment, okay? And you show same kind of love and appreciation towards yourself. And that is why, you know, there are certain cultures 
which require you to follow certain things when you sit for a meal when you sit on your uh, on your uh, meal table to have your lunch your breakfast or your dinner till the time you do not complete your meal some cultures uh, promote that you should not be getting up uh from the table till the time you do not complete the meal okay it should not be the case like you are having your meal and then all of a sudden you remember something you go and you pick that up and then you come back or or you remember that oh i'm not carrying my phone along with myself while i'm and you're halfway in the middle of the meal you get up and you go in your bedroom take your phone and come back and sit no you by doing that you're disrespecting yourself and you're disrespecting the food as well that is what is being uh, uh some cultures are of this thought process okay and it is true it is true that is why we have to infuse the love infuse love and respect into the food and that is what will get back through the food into us okay right so make sure that whenever you make the meal you prepare it with certain intentions okay or while you eat the meal you prepare it with certain intentions the second card is watch a movie let's talk about it i really like this deck because there are certain simple and practical tips of self care the next card is watch a movie Virgo I'm worthy relaxing I'm worthy of relaxing movies are a beautiful way to escape into fantasy slip into another culture or try on a different point of view they can be the perfect indulgence when you need a time out a perspective shift a deep belly laugh or a good cry okay so basically when you need to relax your mind body and soul you need to escape into the fantasy world okay and where can you ex- uh, experience the fantasy world better than movies okay so relax yourself by watching the movie and also it is a perfect indulgence right so uh, indulgence when you need a perspective shift some good laugh or a good cry right plan a night to watch movie watch a movie by yourself and journal about how it makes you feel watch a movie all alone go to the theater all alone movie theater all alone and then write it down how does it make you feel okay were you thrilled to watch it all alone i watch movies alone i go to the hotel restaurants alone i mean of course i am a social animal i have a lot of friends i go and go with my friends with my family but then there are times when i i am like no i want to enjoy things by myself it's not always so uh, it's not a necessity for me to enjoy things with people okay many a times i go out with my friends and family but then whenever i need a break and whenever uh, i think that it's it's time that i get into some self indulgence okay i plan things with myself and then at that point of time i don't allow anyone to uh anyone to break my plans okay so i have been to movie theaters alone i have been to restaurants all alone i watch movies alone i dine or have meals alone okay and i trust me the the first time i did it it was it was i was i was extremely nervous but then i started enjoying it a lot okay organize a themed movie night with okay plan a night to watch movie by yourself and journal about how it makes you feel treat yourself to a solo date night at a movie theater you are worth it organize a themed movie night with a loved one or group and step out of reality and into a story together you can go with your friends as also with your loved ones also okay write down in the comment section or why i, I want to know like how do you guys go and watch the movie have you ever watched a movie all alone are you planning to do that ever are you uh, have you ever done that what was your first experience okay right and what are your favorite meals my favorite meal is a uh, couple of indian delicacies 
but apart from that i like i like burgers a lot i like burgers <laughs> write down and do, do you like cooking i love cooking i love cooking i enjoy cooking okay you can write down that in comment section as well what is it that you like and if you like cooking what do you enjoy cooking the most okay all right i i hope this resonates and hit like share and subscribe and comment down below till then bye bye